am with Carly. So what's your guys' team number? Team 217, the Thunder Chickens. The Thunder Chickens, awesome. Okay, so from your first competition to today, how has everything changed? Well, from our first competition, the day before we came, it was a regional in Pittsburgh. So the Thursday we were there, we rebuilt our entire robot. So it's been a lot less stressful. I, w I bet. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. We've just been having to work with like a lot of little touch-ups and then trying to perfect our Auton. Awesome, do you guys have an awesome autonomous? Kind of, I mean, we're trying to um, improve upon the boiler and trying to shoot that. And our vision has been a little spotty, but it's been getting better. Yeah, we had problems with our vision for a while too, so we're figuring it out. Yeah, us too. All right, anything you want to say to your team and all the other teams here? Good luck, you guys. <laughs> Thank you. What is your name? My name is Avery Turner. Okay, Avery, and what team are you with? I'm with team 5167 Vibots. Awesome. So from your first competition to this competition, how has everything changed for you guys? Basically the entire robot has changed, like the back end of it. We didn't perform as well as we expected during the first competition, so we decided to change most aspects of it. And we were having a stationary gear delivery system, but now we have uh, like one that can move and pick up gears from the ground, and also the entire electronics board has changed. So you guys changed a lot. Yes. So how like is it more fun like you guys having a lot more fun this competition now that you know what to expect yeah it's my first year personally so knowing how things work is a lot of pressure off my shoulders so it's much easier now Definitely. You know. that's really cool that's awesome anything else you want to say to any of the teams just good luck to everybody I hope you have a good time hi so I'm back with safety guy Paul he was at Kettering one so what has changed for your guys' team from Kettering one to Marysville well, overall, darling, I'd have to say that we've done a lot with our bot. I mean, not coding-wise, because we were working on Autumn, but with the power outage yesterday, everything went a little funny with us. But we're definitely working on getting everything fixed back up. We had a backup, so we got all of our stuff back. But our Autumn that we did while we were at Kettering is kind of gone, to say the least. Um, however, bot-wise, we have updated a few of the things our our climbing mechanism we made it a lot easier to grab on from almost any angle now just we're almost guaranteed to hit it every time now it's much better I'm really happy about it um, and then our gear holder we just updated the heck out of that I mean every little inch of it is just brand new parts space it out just so much better we used to miss gears we can't miss gears anymore we are spot on with that. Um, I'd say that other than that, our team is definitely getting along a lot better. That first time we all stressed out and it was just, oh my God. Um, but they're all doing so much better with each other now. They're being a lot safer in the pit. Um, and just everyone's having a lot better time this time. I haven't had to get on anyone about safety glasses. Everyone's been wearing closed toed shoes for once. I haven't had to take someone's flip flops and throw them in the trash you know none of that today everyone's being aware of everyone else's space the floor has been amazingly clean the desktops could be better but like all in all everyone's doing a lot better and I'm very proud of them awesome and you know what we're not in the middle of a hallway this time I know right oh my god totally did better that time even you guys are just making me proud today awesome. just, well thank you so much you're welcome honey all right, so I am with Safety Guy Paul. Hi, Mon. How you doing? And then I'm with... Aiden Forbes. And Peyton Byers. Awesome. So these guys are from the Vibots. So how has everything changed for you guys? Like, from your first competition to today, how has things changed? Well, between our first competition and this one, we practically rebuilt and redesigned our entire robot. So we kind of got rid of most of our mechanics. We added a new gear system, and we, uh, we perfected our climber well. Perfected. Perfected. Perfected as much as you can with a first robotics competition. <laughs> Anything else to say? Uh, rock on. I don't know. All right. What about you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamaican safety guy Paul? If I may say, it seems like just a little more than the boss changed Mon. This boy here, he used to have brown hair, but I think he visited my island and changed up a little bit Mon. <laughs> wow. So did, did you visit his island and change? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I am with David Hayduck. 
All right, and what team are you guys on? I'm with Yale Gigawatts, 6344. Awesome, all right. So how has you guys like changed from your first competition to today at Marysville? Uh, quite a bit. They basically tore, ripped down the robot and totally rebuilt it. We had a ball. We did gears, we did balls, and we climbed. But our climbing and our gears were, I don't know, maybe 70%. So they just totally rebuilt the whole upper structure of the bot. And now we got a 100% gear and 100% climber out of it. We gave up the ball uh, you know, fuel. Well, that's really cool. You guys got it down. So how has like your guys' team changed? Like, Have you guys grown closer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, especially with uh, with that major change, and we only had two weeks to do it, um, they were kind of split. Some were like, we're never going to get this done in two weeks. Yeah. We only got six hours with the bot unbagged, too. And, and uh, other teams like, oh, yeah, we can. And they persisted, and they got it done. So uh, they were doing real good. That's awesome. So can I ask, what's with the costume? Like, what does the costume represent? <laughs> um, Doc Brown from, uh, um, from Back, Back to the Future. Future. Yep, Gigawatts. Yeah. That's where, that's yeah, that's really where we're from. Cool. So That's really cool. Awesome, well thank you so much. All right, so I am with? Uh, Samantha Cannon. I'm Naomi Ozermore. All right, and what team are you guys on? Uh, the Gearheads, 1189. Awesome, Gearheads. So what have you guys been doing since first competition to now? Like, how have you guys changed? Um, we ended up changing how our like Auton and stuff, and um, we ended up just fixing our um, shooter Auton. Cool. Actually, anything, anything else? Um, not much. <laughs> not much? So do you, how are you guys enjoying competition right now? Like, is it really fun, energetic? Yeah, it's yeah, very it's fun. fun. Especially on Saturdays. Yeah. Have you guys been dancing to some of the music out in the stands? Yes. A lot. A lot. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys do good. Anything you want to say to all the teams? Good luck. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josh. Lucas. All right, so I'm here with Josh and Lucas. So how have you guys changed from your first competition to today? As in our first competition ever. Like like your first competition this season, like with the game and stuff. Well, you see now, we we completely scrapped our whole robot, except for how it drives, and we just rebuilt it with a stop sign. That's a really big stop sign. It is. It's stop sign legal size. That's really cool. Do you have anything to say about it? I do not have anything to say. All right, I'm going back to him then. He seems to have a lot to say. Cool stop sign. Definitely didn't steal it, but a legal... Aggregation. That's not a word. <laughs> so, how have you guys like merged as a team? Like, what have you guys been doing? Like, I mean, you rebuilt your entire robot. Did you change like from gears to balls or something? Yeah, we, we were shooting. We completely changed the gears only, and we can collect the gear now from any direction, sides, front, back, and we can rotate around five gears per match. That's really really cool. Sounds like you guys are doing good. Well, we just got in a competition and this robot hit us pretty hard and everything just broke on it. But that's okay. Oh no! Yeah, don't use wood, use metal. My name's Brittany. Alright, hi Brittany. So, why did you choose to be a safety advisor for this competition? Well, I work with UL um, and part of our programs as far as outreach and interacting with our local communities is working with FIRST Robotics. So, I volunteered for a couple of events this year, one in Michigan and one in New York City. Um, and it's been a great experience. We're here just to make sure that everybody leaves with all their fingers and toes. <laughs> awesome. So you go around to the pits and you kind of see who's being safe, who's not. So you see a lot of safe people? Actually, yeah. This event's been great as far as people really looking out for each other as well as making the right choices. Um, so it's been pretty easy for me this week. New York was a little more complicated, but it's always a learning experience. Awesome. Anything you want to say to all of these teams here? Um, just keep up the good work. We're doing really well with our interviews. You guys have some great safety programs and we're proud of you for making the right choices. These are good skills that you're going to keep with you and you're going to be an inspiration to kids younger than you and also to the adults that you meet in your careers. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. So my name is Lewis Whitworth. All right. Hi. So um, why did you choose to be a judge here? Like, why did you want to come and judge? Um, so actually one of the mechanics I worked with, his son was involved with this last year. He's since graduated. And uh, I was always kind of interested in coming to the competitions and seeing what was going on. So wanting to promote STEM activities in our schools, I thought, you know what, let's get involved. I want to be a judge and uh, provide feedback to these kids and help them, you know, develop those skills, give them feedback on improvements they can possibly make to better themselves for the future. Awesome. So you're having a lot of fun here? Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, so this is like really exciting. This is our second competition and I know like you guys are always super busy. So to get to interview one, like we have a couple questions, you know, is it scary being a judge? 
No, I wouldn't say it's scary. Um, it's actually more fun um, getting to see all the different robots and everything. Um, it's fun because you get to see the. A lot of teams have the same kind of ideas and they tackle some things the same way. And then there is all different types of unique things that the people are doing. So it's nice to see our future. You know, I'm an engineer in industry. So getting to see kids in high school that are already thinking the way engineers think out in industry, it's great to see. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. All right. So I am here with Davis Fosgett, Raymond Fry. Awesome. And what team are you guys on? 6020. Six. All right. So 6020. So from your first competition this season to now, like what have you done to your robot? Uh, we added hydraulics to our gear catching mechanism. Is that it? Um, we've, we've also lowered the um, ball hopper that we have put onto there. And we enclosed our wires in an enclosure. Awesome. So you guys made a lot of modifications. Is it so you guys can like perform better? Indeed. Indeed, and it has definitely um, helped out a lot too. Awesome, so you guys having fun here at Marysville? Yeah, it's great. The atmosphere is amazing. Like, what's, have, what's your favorite costume so far? Ooh. Safety horse. I don't, yeah, probably safety horse. All right, well thank you guys so much for all your time. I hope you guys have fun. Anything you want to say to everybody here? Um, no, not me. Join robotics is actually pretty fun. You learn a lot too. Awesome, thank you.